This video covers how to use Everlaw's Depositions feature as your deposition is in progress. Within the deposition, you can mark exhibit numbers for documents, filter your exhibits view, and export your exhibits list. You can also collaborate and communicate in real time. When the deposition begins, start the timer in the top right. Throughout the deposition, you can stop, pause, and reset the timer. Users with view permissions can see the state of the timer but can't change it. The timer allows you to timestamp chat communications as well as any written notes in your deposition text body. To timestamp a note in your text body, use the shortcut Control M on your keyboard. Collaborating within your team during a deposition is crucial, and the chat tool is here to help your team out. This is useful for time-sensitive matters, such as which exhibits to introduce next, or communicating with others from your team who are not physically present at the deposition. To send a chat, click the input box, type your chat, and then press Enter. If the timer is running, any chat you send will be timestamped automatically. Unread messages will be indicated by a notification badge in the Chat tab. If you're on a different browser tab, the title of the Depositions tab will change to let you know who has sent you a message. You can also hyperlink documents automatically in chat. If you type in a Bates number and send the message, the number will turn blue to indicate a linked document. To export the chat transcript and timestamps to a text file, click the caret icon on the Chat Module tab. As exhibits are introduced during deposition, you can mark each document in the deposition with an exhibit number. Click a document in the panel or the text body to view its details. Click Edit, enter an exhibit number, then click Save. Everlaw supports any alphanumeric text as exhibit numbers, although your exhibit number must be numeric for it to get automatically linked in the transcript. Exhibit numbers are displayed on the right of each document within the text body and in the document list of the deposition. As you begin introducing exhibits and marking them, you may want to filter your document list by marked exhibits. You can also mark exhibits in the Exhibits view. Click the Exhibits button in the top right of your deposition. Documents are arranged in the order they are referenced in your deposition. Marked exhibit numbers will be displayed. To assign an exhibit number to a document, click the pencil icon. Specify an exhibit number and click Save. The exhibit number is now assigned to the document. Once you're ready to export your exhibit list, you can do so from the Exhibits view. You can customize what information to display in your Exhibits view, which also dictates the information that will be exported. Click on the Settings icon. Here you have the option to show or hide the document's description, relevance, or metadata by checking or unchecking the boxes. In addition, you can choose which metadata to display and export by clicking Customize Metadata in Settings. To export your exhibit list and relevant information to CSV, click CSV Export on the top right. Your export will begin immediately and can be downloaded from the notification that appears on the page. Your CSV will be configured according to what is currently displayed in the Exhibits view. You can export a more extensive report of your exhibits to PDF. First, name your file, which will default to the deposition name. Next, decide whether you'd like to publish your exhibit list to a single PDF, which will combine a table of contents and each exhibit into a single document, or a zip of individual PDFs, in which your table of contents and each exhibit will be individual files in a zip file. Then you can choose to include a table of contents, exhibits, highlights, and a description page before each exhibit. Whatever display settings you select earlier will be reflected in your table of contents. The table of contents will also include marked exhibit numbers, if applicable to the documents in the list. When you're happy with your configuration, click Publish to begin exporting your exhibit list to PDF. Once the file is ready to be downloaded, a notification will appear. If you marked your documents with an exhibit number, it will appear as a stamp in the top right of the exhibit. 
Bookmarks will be indicated by a blue tab in the top right of the bookmarked page. Before, during, or after a deposition, you can create and assign tasks for yourself and others, set due dates, filter tasks, and track completed tasks. To create a task, type in the text bar of the task module and press Enter on your keyboard. By default, tasks you create will be assigned to you and will not include a due date. To assign a task due date, click No Due Date, specify the date and time, and click away from the widget. Due dates will be displayed in your local time zone. Clear the due date by clicking Clear on the top right of the dialog box. If your task is overdue, it will be indicated by red text. To complete a task, simply check the box next to the task. If your completed tasks are hidden, they will disappear from view. Otherwise, the description will receive a strike through. To reassign the task to another person, click the user badge and choose the user you want to assign the task to from the drop down menu. You can also unassign the task. By default, tasks are sorted by earliest due date to latest due date. You can sort by due date, date added, and who the task is assigned to. Please note that this view is specific to you and does not change how others view the task list. You can hide completed tasks from your list by clicking Hide Completed Tasks on the bottom of the Tasks module. If you want to delete a task, click the due date and you'll find the trash can icon. If you have any questions, please visit our help documentation at support.everlaw.com or feel free to contact us by message, email, or phone.